Sean obviously a little spooked that they uh, lost the last one, 2-0. And Elam being like, ah, Westchester power, Westchester supremacy. But we're gonna see who comes out on top. Our homeboy, John Numbers, or the invader, Elam. Really the worst thing Villager could do is just uh, give you a house and, you know, get you stuck with a mortgage for the rest of your life. You wanna hold ba these back airs or crippling debt? You know, mortgage is actually French for life obligation. No way. Yep. Oh my god. That's where the term comes from. All right, John looking to get that header spike. Oh my gosh, those three turnoffs. Good job avoiding that bowling ball. John numbers, hoping, hoping to be spared that. No way! Guess that spike. Elam absolutely showing no... Elam and John, both masters of just the poker face. Remind me never to play poker with them. Oh, and but John showing a little bit of confusion there as they get bowled over by the bowling ball. All right. Oh my gosh, that could have been a broken shield. I mean, would not have been anything more than a really, really, really big percentage lead. However, John going in. That the, the soccer ball? Excuse me? That came out frame one from Elam, but got like batted back with a dash attack. All right, John knows exactly what they want here. It's the jab lock, it's disgusting. And the umbrella coming in to just swat them away. Of course, the goal on high, throwing away the soccer ball. John calling out the pockets. And edge guard once more. Again, jumping on high. And that tree is no joke, folks. That can and will kill even at this percentage. And if it doesn't, it sets you up for a bad position. All right, John still has the jump. And good job just baiting out the bowling ball as Elam flies off into the distance and returns on their last dock. All right, John just schmoozing now. This is exactly where they're most comfortable. At ledge, stock lead, they don't need to approach. But neither does Elam here. All right, one turn up? Ah, one turn up doesn't scare me. But uh, that soccer ball back does. As it takes John's life at two soccer ball. Oh, I'm sorry. At two football. All right, neutral and turn up. Really turning up the heat here. All right, John trying to go for one of those spikes. The gyro stopping them. Okay, good stall in the air with the header. All right, John just waiting for the right opportunity to come back. Elam just throwing out moves here. Ariel's forcing John to make a decision. John making the right choice here with just going in for the grab to stop. No! They just both went flying. John's like, no, 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 no. Run that back immediately. Yeah, John with uh, an unfortunate miss space there, if we can just see that. So obviously goes in for the grab, gets thrown out. As we go in, right? Goes in, gets the stall there. And they are right. So if we go, what, 10 frames? Yeah, they throw that out, but right there, frame by frame, they did trade. And I'm going to be honest, that would not have killed Villager. Oh, it hit the head. No, barely. You got to be kidding me. Ridiculous. But anyway, we're moving on. Game two. John. Two more games to reset this bracket, and Elam victory is in sight as long as they can clutch out another victory like that. All right, John, not falling for this trick, but getting caught by that up smash, the fireworks. Look, we're not gonna be like, uh, we're not gonna be like SmashCon 2022, all right? We're not gonna do a preemptive confetti here. You celebrate after you win. Last year, they were just excited that Sora finally got a W. It was really cool. Also, that header, W right there. I, I will say, if there was any criticism I could give for production this year, the only criticism I have, my ears got blown out after a, a Cola one. Yo. That was so loud. As, as someone doing the broadcast production. <laughs> Ow. I'm like. My ears. The AVL, they got to they gotta step it up. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, anyway, moving on. 
House of 3000 is still the best in the business here. Knowing exactly what's up here. Oh my gosh, the double pot? No way. All right, nice little forward tilt. John Number is at a commanding lead here. But, but they are playing very carefully, knowing that this can be taken away at any moment by a bowling ball. What? Two bowling balls? Goodbye, soccer ball. We hardly knew you. Unless you tune in every week, though. You know the soccer ball very well. <sighs> yeah, there was no situation there. Just like the last set we had in Winners, that is a checkmate. The cutting down from the tree into the bowling ball. If you cannot stall out in the air like a Rob or a Villager or an Isabel, it's dead. It's over. But what a run in. Running past the tree being like, I found you. Tossing you off stage. Jeez, avoiding getting caught by the axe. Okay, a good back air. Oh, the pod coming from downtown. John throwing them off. No back air. No turnips. One turnip? That's not going to get you anything on the turnip markets. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, I mean, hold. He's in a stage with platforms to throw out a bowling ball at a safe distance. Always very good for a villager. It's safe. Who will approach? No one. Throw it out in neutral. If people approach and die to it, that's their fault. They're bad. You're good. Just like those three turnips are good. John Numbers, having been the situation reversed here on their possible last stock of the tournament. Elam knows how to just play this patiently. Wait it out. Pocketing the sun! Throwing it right back, being like, I think you dropped something. The game. All right. John Numbers just dashing in. Not getting desperate here, but trying to challenge the gyro. Very difficult here on last stock. There is no lead. John being very careful not to throw out that soccer ball and get it stuffed once more. Grabbing the wood? Okay. I mean, hey, if the gyro's good for them? Okay. All right. Elam. No way, no way. What a tech! All right, Elam trying to throw the soccer ball back at them. Oh, no. The soccer ball being stuffed by the bowling ball? Man, battle of the ball supremacy. Jeez! Okay. John doing a really good job of just holding back there. Being forced to jump high, and Elam also on now on last stock. John is powered up. A dangerous situation being at ledge, especially while Villager is at such high percent, I mean, such a low percentage. All right, John trying to grab. John forced to recover high, mix it up. Neutral is coming in clutch. Oh, the tree here. All right, jumping on high, but still fading back so they can avoid a bowling ball situation. All right, no grab. John realizing that it's just the range isn't good. No jab situation. What do we see here? Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, avoiding the tree. No grab. But the soccer ball is in Elam's hand. But you know what? John can just throw out that sun no matter what. Finally, all options are back on John's favor. All right. A good back air. And a good grab. All right, deep breathing is going to save John. A few interactions. All right, trying to read a roll in. But even percentage here. The tree is here. The tree is here to stay. Deal with it. Oh, no. John got crapped. Off stage. Oh, my gosh. Got hit by the wood? No. Oh. This caster is at a loss for words as John is so close to losing their stock. What do we see here? Oh, my gosh. Could have been buried alive. John's not dead yet. He's still alive in this game. Trying to make the right decision. Oh, Elam just a little afraid to commit with a grab. Oh my gosh, John just grazing the blast zone. No, okay, okay. What do we see here? Throwing out the sun. This is the situ This is what John needs, a back air. Not dead yet. Villager refuses to live. I mean, refuses to die. Oh my gosh, okay. The soccer ball could have possibly extended the hitbox of the tree, making John lose that stock. All right, no way. That's it. Oh. 
And the tree takes it. Elam takes Xeno Weekly 306. Not dropping a single set in winners. Coming so close, many times the dying being dropped out, but John did their best against the invader. But you know what? Second place is still fantastic. Let's see some of those replays there. Some incredible set play here. Elam finally being like, I can breathe again. The nerves. The tournament is over. You can go home and relax. But Elam just fighting so well. Down a stock in a few situations, but not letting it deter them as they just fight back with this amazing lead trapping. The tree, the bowling balls, everything was set up perfectly. Hey, as long as John doesn't have a crippling mortgage, they'll they'll take this. They'll take second place. But no, honestly, Elam was very comfortable in this matchup. Fighting to the bitter end. And John, John and Elam, we would love to see you again. Elam coming out more. We know Westchester is far, but it's not that far. It's a nice little day trip. And you can always day trip down here to Xeno Weekly every single Wednesday. I mean, gosh, what a bracket. John, how did you feel? <laughs> he gave up. <laughs> I mean, it was tough. It's definitely tough. But uh, definitely, what do we see here in the... Can we get that bracket set up so we can congratulate our uh, top eight there? Sure, one second. All right, and congratulations to Elan in first, John Numbers in second, Melly coming in a fantastic third there as a Richter, Dill in fourth, I believe, uh, Carflow and Kirby509 sharing fifth place, yep. followed by Helper and Toji Worm in seventh. Congratulations to our top eight, it was phenomenally played. Wish we could have gotten all of them on stream, but what can you do? We had to keep things moving along. We had a few zoners out there, so, you know, went to game three quite often tonight. But you know what? If you want to catch a more of these fantastic games, don't forget to subscribe and follow House of 3000 on all their social media platforms. Not Twitter. Not Twitter. Never yeah, Twitter. You can, you can just, for, for Twitter updates, you can just follow me at Devin3000. Um, I should update this live for just putting my name there, yeah. I guess. And Devin. I'll put the blue sky in. Definitely. So, House of 3000 on Blue Sky, Devin, House of 3000 on Twitter. But uh, if you are of the cooler variety, there is always YouTube, House of 3000, where all the VODs are uploaded. Twitch, House of 3000, what you're watching on right now, so don't forget that. And of course, if uh, you're a boomer like me, the House of 3000 Facebook. And if you're like, well, when are these uh, broadcasted? Well, they're broadcasted every single Wednesday right here at Xeno Zero Gaming NYC in beautiful Chinatown. So uh, come on down to 21 Ludlow Street, New York, New York, visit 10002. The production always done by the amazing House of 3000. What are they? They're the best in the biz. Be sure to uh, tweet Twitter support, hashtag free HO3K, because uh, come on, we got to make sure that the leading production for esports and community events are alive and well on all available social media. Now, if you're like, whoa, is there, are there any other weeklies? Why, yes, there are. Waypoint Warriors at Waypoint Cafe NYC, literally just up the street from here. There is no excuse. You can practice there on Tuesdays with some coffee and some pastries and some of the best kinded hard folks here at in NYC in Smash. That is $12 every single Tuesday. And if you're like, well, what about Mondays? We got you covered every single Monday here at Xeno Zero Gaming. Uh, 7 p.m. every single Monday. And bi-weekly, we do run a Street Fighter 6 bracket as well. This coming up Monday is going to be that Street Fighter 6 bracket alongside Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And if you ever want to run anything else at bombs, just hit up House of 3000. They'll give you the space for it. Remember, you're back on your BS here, and all games are BS. But speaking of BS, you definitely got to check out... Oh, no! Do we not have it? We don't have Monday Night Strive. You know what? That is A-OK, -okay because next week... Next Monday, not this coming up Monday, but the Monday after, we got Round 4 over at Waypoint Cafe NYC, a Street Fighter 6 tournament hosted by yours truly at Caffeine Crash and uh, Save the Dog run by J. Cho. We love him. But if you're like, back to Smash, then absolutely. We got Encore Smash Weekly every single Thursday. So if you're like, hey, I want to go to New Rochelle, New York, number one, you're crazy. Number two, start a carpool. But definitely head up there. Give Encore Sports your love. And if you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. What did you say about uh, Street Fighter VI? Well, we're not going to talk about that just yet. We're going to talk about Xeno Saga. That is, uh, 
I can't read Roman numerals. I'm not even going to pretend here. Uh, <laughs> that is a Saturday, September 23rd. Uh, 49. 49. We're on 49. We're one more away from 50, but we got to get through 49 first on September 23rd. That's a Saturday. And the, and the Sunday right after that, it's not updated, but right after that is going to be Last Man Standing, a Swiss bracket for this Street Fighter the, 6. This is the week before Xenosaga. Ah, the week before and, Xenosaga. And okay. uh, this, this one particular will, is going to fall on a Saturday. Oh, on so, a Saturday? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Try and get a few more people out. I respect that. I made top eight. Trust me, <laughs> I, am, I am very bad at this game. You don't want me to make top eight. If I'm making top eight, not enough people are showing up. So come on out. Prove your stuff. We need some fresh blood with Street Fighter 6. It's a new game and a new opportunity to get on the ground floor of an ever-developing meta. But speaking of meta, uh, I think the meta is to sign off now. It is uh, near 11 o'clock, and while we do want to stay here forever, I unfortunately got to get home. Everyone wants to get home. Everyone's, everyone wants to get into those uh, last friendlies here in the venue before they got to close us down and uh, kick us out at 11. So I want to say thank you very much for tuning in tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. I've been your solo caster tonight, Swiss Rider. You can follow me on Twitter at Arne Hermes. You know, you can have me tweet about Smash, my daily life, writing, and all that fun stuff that, you know, comes with an internet personality stuff. I also stream, but, uh, you know, that's uh, just uh, twitch.tv slash Swiss Rider. Uh, but anyway, I do want to say congratulations as well as production. Putting up a good fight both in brackets and in the streaming production. You did a great job, and we want to wish you a very restful couple days before you have to go to shine. Well, restful tomorrow. You're going tonight? You got to set up on Thursday? Yeesh! Oh, oh. That's true. That's true. So you know what? Chat, give them your energy. They're going to need it. They're going to be driving all night. They're going to be slaving in the morning, and they're going to be slaving all day on Thursday to get that ready just for you. Be We're praying. We're praying. Also, can they check it out right here on House of 3000 Twitch? No, it's going to be on uh, BTS Smash 1 and 2. We'll be operating 1 and 2. And then BTS Smash 3 is uh, a melee side stream. All right, so folks, remember to follow BTS Smash on Twitch so you can catch all of those. Oh, they do start uh, in the afternoon. So if you're like, hey, I work from home on Fridays or you just want to take the day off, do it. And then Saturday and Sunday, you got the last day. So you don't want to miss what is going to be the last shine ever. But until then, I've been your caster, Swiss Rider for this Xeno 306 Brackets. You have a wonderful night. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next week for more Smash. Peace out, guys.